Uh, so this video is on anxiety and hip replacement surgery. So the first thing to say uh, is that it's really, really normal to be anxious about your upcoming operation. I mean, it's not like you have this every day, is it? So um, it's an unfamiliar environment. Um, there are elements that are out of your control. Um, there's concern about risks of complications related to the surgery, or albeit they are uncommon. Um, that's obviously a natural concern. So first thing to say is that it's 100% absolutely normal for you to have some degree of anxiety and concern relating to your upcoming operation. Anxiety disorders uh, in the community are in fact pretty common. They sit on a spectrum all the way through from fairly mild, you might just be a person who worries a bit more than others, all the way through to the more severe and overt manifestations of anxiety disorders. What we see relating to hip replacement surgery is that uh, if you're a little bit prone to anxiety, then when you're thrust into a new environment which has a lot of working parts and uh, a little bit of uncertainty involved, um, then generally speaking, the anxiety management becomes a little bit more difficult. And where this might manifest as a problem is when the anxiety gets to a point where it forms a barrier to effective communication between your healthcare providers and yourself. Um, and so on a practical basis, people with anxiety disorders um, tend to find the whole experience of surgery somewhat more challenging and more difficult. Um, it leads to things like slower recovery, longer lengths of stay in hospital, um, more difficulties with their recovery process, um, and certainly the whole process is a lot less pleasant for them. Um, and um, on, a, on a more severe manifestation, we might see people undergoing unnecessary tests, um, even invasive um, investigations or procedures purely as a result of their heightened anxiety states. If I or one of the staff who are looking after you make a suggestion that you might seek the assistance of a mental health professional for some strategies relating to your anxiety, um, it's not a reflection that you don't have a problem with your hip um, and nor is it a reflection that we think that this is all in your mind. What we are saying however is that we feel that there might be some strategies that you could consider that will likely assist in your recovery. In this respect it's not all that dissimilar to the recommendations that, for instance, we might make to someone who's got obesity, where we might say it's worthwhile that you might lose weight and see a dietitian, or alternatively, the recommendations that we might make to a smoker in terms of um, cigarette consumption. Quite frequently, we would see that there are some really simple, useful, practical techniques that a, a person can employ that will assist them in managing their anxiety around the time of surgery, and that's a really worthwhile investment. These strategies are best delivered uh, by a professional who deals with this all the time, so either a psychologist or a psychiatrist. And so typically, if we are going to make a recommendation that there are some strategies that you might use, we would often employ their services. If you have any questions um, relating to anxiety management uh, around the time of hip replacement surgery, or indeed if you're a relative of someone who's just about to undertake a hip replacement and you feel that they have got heightened um, anxiety states, that there may be some benefit in getting some assistance um, prior to the surgery, um, please um, uh, make an appointment, come on in and we can have a, uh, a discussion about some of the options that are available.